Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get into today's video, would you like to get the October Battle Pass for even cheaper than it already is? Well, Huawei App Gallery are doing a 50% coupon where you can purchase the Battle Pass for half price. Yes, you will pay around about $3 for the Battle Pass. And of course, in the Battle Pass, you get a lot of goodies including a tank um in, well actually two tanks uh, uh, one at the start and one at level 35 so as long as you uh download the app gallery download blitz using the app gallery you will be eligible to for this coupon make sure you set your country to uk ireland or new zealand when you are downloading the app gallery doesn't matter what country you're from as long as you set your country to one of those you will be eligible to receive this coupon of course all the links are in the description below along with the huawei app gallery's discord server so if you didn't need any help any assistance there will always be someone there to help you so get downloaded the app gallery now to receive some uh, some discounts huge discounts coming this winter with huawei app gallery there will be a much bigger campaign where you can win tanks golds and much much more so stay tuned for that Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69, welcome back to the channel and we have a new battle pass tank, the Titan T2457. Yes, this tank is a obviously a tier 6, a light tank, we have another light tank battle pass and it is a mix between a Chaffee and and an AMX 1357. So basically it has the Chaffee hull and it has the AMX, uh, the turret. And in fact, it's uh, playing the tank. I'm enjoying the tank. I think it's a pretty good tank. There are some downfalls about the tank, uh, but also there's some uh, positives about the tank. Now, the armor profile doesn't really have much armor at all. It is a chaffy after all and an AMX. Uh, 50 millimeters roughly is what you're going to get all around. DPM 1435, which isn't too bad for a tier 6 auto loader. Yes, it is an auto loader. Three shot auto loader. 15 seconds between each. Each, uh, uh, for your magazine sorry and 2.5 between each shell and as i said three uh, shells in the magazine now the penetration 144 um, on your AP, which I think is is pretty good. 144. Let's just look at the Chaffee. That's the stock gun. Um, the other gun we, we're looking at 135 and 185 on the the premium penetration. 185 on the premium penetration. Whereas this has a massive. Where is it? Let's see it. A 202. That's actually really good. For a tier 6 tank, that's really good penetration. Um, 160 alpha, 135 on your APCR and 175 on your HE. Aim time 3.1, dispersion 0.337 and it does have 6 degrees of gun depression only. Um, that's one downfall about the tank is the 6 degrees gun depression and it goes 55 kilometers an hour which isn't too bad but it does feel a bit sluggish um so yeah the speed isn't uh isn't great top speed yes it's fine but it's uh for what it is uh, it's it for me it just feels a little bit sluggish it's, it feels slow the traverse and everything like that does feel a little bit slow um as i said about penetration we do manage to bounce on the triumph uh, triumphant there um but yeah i think the penetration is actually really good and as I've said, there's a couple of things that uh, make it does suffer with, and that is the gun depression. The gun depression is six degrees. It's not the worst, uh, but it, yeah, it's not it's not the best. It really isn't the best at all. I don't mind the DPM. The DPM's fine. Uh, the reload, it, I think, is is acceptable for a tier six, 15 seconds reload. I think they could make it a little bit better and make it sort of a, a two second intra clip, um, rather than the 2.5. But we're not going to moan. We're not going to complain too much about that intra clip uh, but yeah i just you know it would have been nice to go a little bit quicker as well uh, so if, if wargaming would have actually added one of these maybe gave it more gun depression 
or gave it the two second intra clip or gave it uh, more speed i think this would actually be one of the best uh, battle pass tanks that there is in the game currently the best battle pass tank is the other light tank the agent now wargaming is that's uh, a pumped up vk2801 very very good tank and one of the best tier sixes in, in the game not just battle pass tanks but it's one of the best tier sixes in the entire game and i feel this could have been that i feel this really could have been like that if it had one of those things but with one of those things missing that i've uh, spoken about um yeah it's just it's a nice tank it is a nice tank for five dollars of course that is it's definitely definitely worth it of course if you are using the huawei app gallery you do get it for even cheaper than five dollars you're looking at around two dollars to get the battle pass tank uh, to get the battle pass which includes this tank so yeah definitely uh definitely worth it in in my opinion um I like the the camo the titan flare it's called uh yeah I, li I like the camera i think the camera is pretty cool and i do think it looks pretty pretty good i i love the the concept of what wargaming do here with the battle pass tanks i like the fact that i prefer this than what they would do say like the agent the agent is basically a vk2801 the dreadnought is basically the churchill gun carry uh, the thunder basically the kv1s um but what i love about these battle passes is when they do stuff like this what they're doing now where they basically take two tanks and they make it into one i think that's really uh, really good concept and it makes uh, more tanks available as such instead of just it, it, in a few months or in a year they're going to run out of tanks to put in the battle pass so i do actually like what they're doing here where they are putting the two tanks on into one they're mixing tanks up and they're not just sticking to like the same nation like german tanks they are obviously they're here where they've got an american tank and a french tank in one um and i think it looks pretty good it suits it i, I really think the tank looks good the camouflage looks good um all around the tank is is a pretty decent tank with some flaws uh but yeah it's it's not really uh too much if, if it had all of those i think it would be op if it had one of them i think it would be a really good tank uh but without them i do think it is just an average uh, tier 6 tank nothing special but nothing really too bad uh, about the tank so here we uh we're gonna show like as i've said the, the armor is nothing but you can actually bounce the odd shot. You can't rely on the armor because, of course, it's a light tank. Uh, you can't really rely on that armor uh, because it has none. But when you are angled, you might get the, the, the troll bounce. I do apologize if you hear any sound in the background. These are lorries passing me. Um, I'm sat at the side of the road making this video. So, yeah, I, I can't wait for this tank. I can't wait to get this tank. It's definitely a tank I will be uh, be getting um, for $5, as I've said, or $2 with Huawei. You can't really complain about that. So, this game, we're going to go forward. We're going to push forward. We know that there is a tank to our left, and now we have just spotted the T-34, who isn't the, uh, the best of players, to be honest. And you're going to see we're going to have one shot there, 143. Uh, we're going to back up. He's going to somehow miss his shot and we're going to put him on fire and we are going to get another shot so that was a pretty nice uh, magazine roll there into that t-34 literally one clip and he's uh, he's a one shot both of these tanks literally somehow just missed me but there goes the gargoyle and now we can just deal with this t-34 so we haven't lost any hit points whatsoever at the moment we've got 1100 damage and as you can see there you can get the odd bounce but that is the only bounce we're pretty much going to get in this game game so we're going to leave the hellcat for now and we're going to get behind this p43 uh, uh an and we're going to get well i think we're going to get one shot into him or no we're going to get two shots into him we're not able to get the final shot uh but now because of the reload isn't that bad uh when you do have sort of one shell or two shell with nothing to shoot at you may as well go for the reload depending on what's about how many tanks are around you uh, so I went for the reload because I have nothing around me. So just as I reload, we have uh, able to, to get these two shots off uh, on the Hellcat. We know that there is now the VK2801 up there. That is AFK. So we're just going to sit behind here. There's no reason for us to uh, poke out. And the Hellcat is basically a one shot. We're going to try the HE here on the VK. And you can see that we can actually HE this guy. And we're going to get uh, two, sh two shots out. 139, which is a pretty low roll. And we do get that final 
final shot into him. And we're going to get another 166 roll into the Hellcat with a nice HE. So at this point, I don't even know why I'm hiding. I'm still full hit points. And just before I reload, I am able to just push this guy. And I'm hoping for the kill, but there's seven of us left alive. And I do actually manage to get the kill. So yeah, the Titan Flare is available now. Uh, decent tank, not too not great but not not the worst it's it's decent that is basically all it is but definitely well worth the money so i hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all very soon bye bye